Isn't this Frankie who came like to from Smyrna, Delaware? Who comes from Smyrna, Delaware? Uh -huh. Who does that kind of stuff? Let's talk about it. That's me, Mario. And Mandalorian. And roses. Yeah. I'm telling you, IGA and uh, Solomon's up here. Uh, they got some good flowers. I know, they're they, starting to look a little rough. They, but they stay forever. Literally. I know, it's been, been like two weeks now, I think. Good job, Solomon's and IGA. Anyway, um, so Snapple, not a sponsor. Mandalorian, definitely a sponsor. I mean, uh, not a sponsor. So, in Mark, we're in the Book of Mark this week uh, because we preached about it yesterday from the Book of Mark. Actually, you should go back and watch that if you want. It'll be up in, online today sometime. So, Mark has this really cool thing about him that he says 54 times the word immediately, immediately, immediately. Choose now. Do it now. Do it now. Um, get with Jesus. You don't have to know all 10 commandments. You don't, know how, you don't have to know all the books of the Bible. Just have faith in Jesus and then go. go. Do what he says. Just do it. Um, you don't need to know everything and everything and all. He knows everything. That's why we hook it hook up to Jesus, because he knows everything. But Jesus, um, it's interesting. Like, yeah, a lot of people didn't like him. A lot of people loved him. A lot of people followed him. Some people, you know, were were extremely uh, rude and persecuted him. But they were, on the other hand, they were extremely, you know, loving and followed him and asked questions and grew deeper. But there's this group in the middle. And I think every minister has this problem. I'm not comparing myself to Jesus by no means. Um, but it does come with the ministry. And it's a very hard subject a lot of times. And uh, Jesus dealt with it very well. And uh, ministers, talking to ministers right now, we need to follow Jesus' example. And it's hard because uh, sometimes ministers want to have everybody helped. Like, we want everybody to be the same. We want everybody to mature the same way. We, gotta, we want everybody, our flock, even if it's this group, uh, to come together and to do what God tells them to do, especially this group. But then Jesus was like, well, they're going to make their own decisions. I'm just going to love them. And that's hard because I, I want this group of people to do the very best in their Christian walking faith. And so here we go. Mark chapter 6, verse 3. He goes home. He goes to his family. Okay. And here we go. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? They took offense at him. Even Jesus' own family <laughs> took offense at him. Um, even Jesus says, you know, a minister in his own hometown gets no honor. Um, it is a very awkward position for a minister to be in, to be the family's pastor and be family. Um, it's a very hard position. And Jesus was the same way. He, he went through that. And, and Jesus was tempted in every way. He went through every situation in that way. And he made it. And so ministers um, need to be encouraged by Jesus on how he, he treated his family. He treated them with love and respect, even sometimes if they if he didn't get it from them. And so my encouragement for you today, if you have a minister in, in your family, if you have somebody in your family who is in full-time ministry, missions, pastor, deacon, elder, some kind of position in the church, respect them and, and help them and pray for them. Um, it's a hard position. It really is. And um, Jesus had a really good out view of that. I also think it's difficult just for a Christian in a family with other... Yes. Just a Christian, not just a Christian minister. family, but then you have that whole dichotomy of family versus brother and sister in Christ. Right. And it's just like this pull and push. Not that it's bad. Not that I'm drowning anybody out or judging them. I'm just saying it's a hard situation. It's a very thin line. And uh, so pray for each other. Uh, respect each other. Maybe 
change in some fashion, but um, Jesus went through it. He had a good out outlook, and so we need to look at Jesus' outlook, not ourselves. Mm -hmm. I love you, Jesus. Love you, too. My encouragement for today is encourage others and pray for them. Love you, Bob.